My mother keeps insisting me to marry my cousin brother, and I don't want to. I'm 23 year old, almost done W my degree next year so at the ripe age of getting tortured by arranged marriage and shit. I have a cousin 25 years old who is settled in states. Earns well. Etc etc in short parents jackpot. But the problem is. A I don't want to marry a coup in cause you, I always saw him like my brother. We were raised like brother sisters. B he is obsessive. Context when we were kids he had a huge crush on me. When I say huge, it was huge. He had a whole album of my pictures around 400 of them. None of which I sent just pictures from family groups, cropped IGDPS. I found a drawer full of my items in his room like clutches, scrunches my handwriting etc etc. Throughout my teenage years 14 15 17 he'd insist we date and I'd politely say I just see you as a brother. But he would not understand. He'd make sketches of me. Which if any of you know the Dobala Doma theory, would be flattering if I was interested in him. I wasn't. I even tried giving him a chance but our personalities never matched. Anyhow when I was 17 he went, I'll leave you alone but only if you tell me you will marry me after few years when I get successful and bring Rishta to your house. I said no cause I didn't want to give him false hope. We didn't talk after that. But now he's successful and subtly insisting his mother my mom's sister to get us married. My mom loves this. She says he has stability and when I filled her up w this backstory she is just swooned by it. All I look at how much he loves you. However I can't. All that weird obsessive behavior still haunts me. My mother also is scaring me in the sense that if I don't agree to this then my father will get me married to his choice which will be an age 30 guy and that's scaring me. Moreover I don't have the brightest luck so my mother says if my cousin gets married, they are looking for brides for him rn then I'll have to marry a stranger knowing my luck I might end up w someone horrible. All in all, even if I say no my mom goes okay, but keep in mind you are ruining your future. I don't know what to do, do I just marry him? Edit thank you so much everyone for the concern. My parents however aren't forcing me. They are just insisting. I can make this stop by being a little firm stubborn. Also men who are trying to slide into my DM and using this opportunity to ask me to marry them instead, please stop. Are you prepared to break off from your family to end this tradition? That is commonly the only way you can escape the burden of arranged marriage. To go out into the world and be financially independent and be prepared not to carry the shame your family will claim you bring on them. Whatever your mother says, if you marry a guy you don't like it will cause you much more grief. Be prepared to limit contact with your parents if it comes to that. Marrying against your will is not the answer. I know someone from India who is engaged to a woman his family didn't choose. Now their parents have cut them off socially and financially. Only their siblings still talk to them. They decided since they live in Canada and have jobs and love each other it's worth it. Even so it's sad. So as others have said you should prepare to break ties with some family. I am so sorry. I'd look into women protection organizations and see if they can help. To me it sound like the only way out of this is to fend for yourself, without your family support and interference. Will your degree allow you to leave? Like. Different country leave, not just your parents' home. Get a job lined up, make sure 100% that you will not depend on family for money after your degree is finished. That way they can't force you to do anything. Girl run. In all seriousness. Start looking into being able to financially support yourself and live independently in case you get cut off by refusing to marry him. Please read this, OP. My parents are first cousins. I have a severely mentally disabled brother because of their close relations. Please don't listen to your family. They will forgive you someday but if you make this choice for their sake you may end up throwing away your life. Please don't do it. So sorry you're in this situation. 
my ex-husband worked with a man that married his first cousin. All his kids are deaf. Look honestly I feel the same walls closing in on all sides for you. Your family should be your support network when things get bad but they are the ones pressing you. I really feel like with your graduation around the corner dramatic steps are going to be taken. Either they are going to trap you in a shitty arranged behind your back or you're going to need to find the courage to leave your home and your family behind, and start your young life using your degree somewhere far away. I'm sorry. Sad reality of our countries. In India, I'm being basically hounded to get married to a son of a businessman friend of my family just because my studies are over and, it's time for me to get settled. Basically I made the mistake of coming back here. Can you apply for a master's somewhere in another country Canada or the US but a different part of the US than where your cousin is? Tell your parents you want to further your education. I'm Desi and I know it can be hard to go against family like this but marrying your cousin sounds so weird. Or is there another respected auntie or uncle in the community who you can get to talk to your parents? A different future isn't a ruined future. It's okay for your mom to hold that idea and for you to disagree with her. She may see it as ruined but you don't have to live the life she wants. ETA I'd say don't marry him, he sounds like a complete creep. The photo album thing isn't sweet, it's a red flag. Due to my past experiences, anyone like this would be an automatic runaway because obsessive people also seem to the ones who will break your boundaries, and possibly go as far as assault. Speaking as a man, definitely stand firm. He's put you on a pedestal for so long the real you will never align with his imaginary version of you, and it will only lead to heartbreak. Real life is messy and hard, and I bet my bottom dollar he is infatuated more with the idea of you than the real person of you. Do you have any way to get to a western country without getting married first? Student visa maybe? It might be your best option. My wife dodged an arranged marriage, and someone I dated didn't manage to. It's a really rough spot to be in when your entire support network is against you, and if you can find a way out you are unusually brave. I'm not sure that you need to get married, at all, but as others have said, severing ties and going your own way, as hard as that will be, might provide you with the freedom you seek. But your instincts about your cousin are correct, I think. Absolutely not, do not marry him. You've already made it abundantly clear that you would be absolutely miserable in this marriage. Be assertive or just do whatever you have to do to make things smooth, but your parents clearly don't care at all about your happiness, so you have to be the one who fights for that. Indian parents love to scare kids from childhood to do what the parents want. By scare, they will always predict bad outcomes for your future, that your future will be doomed, you will have a horrible lift etc etc. Do not be scared and don't let them scare you. Be strong, the future isn't so bad and it turns out fine. It's good you are strong in your opinion, stick by them. You have good instincts, trust yourself and believe that you can take care of yourself. I'll be blunt. The ONLY way to get out of this is to cut all ties with your family. They will try to make you feel guilty for this. Don't listen to them. I'm not even going to pretend to understand this culture. Get a job somewhere far away and get away from your family. Even in the best of circumstances, the burden of marriage and children lies primarily on the woman. It will be a living nightmare if you enter into it with a person whom you do not want. Don't do it at all if it is not the life you want. It could even endanger your life. A mother in a domestic relationship is in a uniquely vulnerable position. Even those of us who married the man of our dreams have been horrified to discover how awful they become once things get settled. Use the opportunity to move away from these bad ties. Lie about going to meet him and fly to Canada. Do not marry him. He's a controlling, manipulative, obsessive man-child with absolutely no concept of boundaries or respect. Can you get a job in another city after your degree? That's a good first step. It'll help you dodge this particular bullet. Bad key bad main deco, for now just sidestep this rishta and get away from this situation.